programming tutorial in this video we are going to discuss about the flow control like the if statements and uh, equivalent to switch for loops and while loops by the last video we have completed the data types from from this we will discuss about the flow control mainly in the rest when it comes to the flow control we have like if else else if these statements and also we have something called match which is equivalent to the switch in other programming languages and also for loops and while loops and infinite loops and also we know that break and continue statements these things we will discuss now from from now onwards okay but in this video i'm going to discuss about the if and match okay guys see the content in our channel if you like it please subscribe and also share it whoever is required now come to this video like the if statements which are similar to the other programming languages but we should remember these four points when it comes to the rest programming languages like the test expression must be like a boolean either it is like a true or false either the condition if condition either satisfies or dissatisfies if it satisfies it's a true otherwise it's a false and also we no need to mention the parenthesis like you know right we used to do the in c long ways we use we use like this like if a is of greater than 50 okay if a is greater than uh, 50 these kind of parentheses we will mention in the c long ways but in rust we no need to mention this okay and also blocks must be enclosed within this curly braces so each if statement like you should give like this even if we have a single if statement also you should give the curly braces so here if you see if a is greater than 50 we have given single statement print ln but this is enclosed within the brackets and also we can use if else expression as a ternary operator so we have the c long ways like question mark and colon as like a ternary operator the same thing is also present in the rust programming language also now we will see some sample code how it will be in the rust programming language i have taken one function like demo of if okay now let a is equal to 58 so now the if condition is if a is greater than 50 you are old okay else we can write a else statement but we haven't mentioned else statement by the following examples you will see the if else both the conditions okay so this condition this project we have created with the cargo and also i will keep all this code in the github link i will keep the github link and this program rest programming tutorial playlist in the description if you would like to go go back to the uh, previous videos you can go and check it what is cargo and all these things using cargo we have created this project so for compiling and running the application we have a command called cargo run using which we will compile and run it let me do this yes we can see that the age is 58 if age is greater than 50 means 58 is greater than 50 so it is printed this particular statement okay so this uh, demo if function is called in the main function okay so here we have a main function in this we have called this demo if so i have written all the code because uh, writing the code because this is a very simple code and uh, following like it will take a lot of time instead of that i have taken like the snippets of each and everything like for the if and match whatever we are going to discuss today and i'm explaining that okay yeah. we see this right next we have like height equal to 1.7 if height is greater than 1.8 you are tall otherwise you are not so tall else okay so now let's execute this as we can see here we have taken height as 6.7 the 6.7 is less than the 1.8 so it came to the else case so we it is printed like a, you are not so tall okay now let's have like if else and along with that we will have else if also so we have taken something like span games which is equal to 500 if span games greater than 300 we are saying like you are very loyal fan we appreciate it if it is greater than 100 you are discerning fan okay and else you are quite a new fan welcome something like that we have okay so now in which case it will go because since the swan games are 500 it will obviously go to the the first one only okay now let's execute it yes so you see this you are a loyal fan okay the first statement got printed what if you have only like 200 okay now what happens we'll check now it should go to the else if statement because it is less than 300 but it is greater than 100 okay yeah the last one so let's say for example you wanted to store the if else response in one variable and you wanted to use it further so we can write it in a single statement like if else is greater than 50 we are putting it like high oldie else high newbie so and that output will be coming into the message so whatever either 
high voltage or high nubi it will come into the message and that message we are printing this is like a format specifier so now let's execute once again and see the is what we have taken on the top it is 58 so the age is greater than 50 so it is uh, came to the if condition and it is printed uh, uh, only okay the other one we have it as like a match match is similar to the switch in other programming languages it is much powerful what you can uh, imagine okay so going further you will see that actually it, it can match so if you know the switch right it will be either uh, match with either integers switch off that thing we will write right either with a character or a string right so it, it will not support the ranges but here in match in rust programming languages it supports like a specific values ranges and multiple values conditions like it's much more powerful than the switch switch uh, what we have in other languages okay so let me uncomment this and i will comment the if one so basically the match will match with the patterns like so here you see that in this function demo match we have taken let number equal to 100 and here we are saying like match of number within these brackets we are we are saying like if it matches with 100 the arm so the symbol we will call it as arm so if it is a 100 if it matches with 200 we are saying like a 200 if anything other than 100 or 200 it will be like a who cares like it's a default value okay so basically it is matching with a pattern like if it is 100 it is going like this it's extending its arm to, okay so now so let's execute this and see since the number is 100 we are it is extending its arm for this particular one so and also you can have like a blocks if it is the case you can you can have like multiple things print in 100 and also you can have another one it is 100 and you can have any number of statements okay print and it is like not 200 anything so you can have like multiple statements within that block it's matching with the, this particular one and we are printing a hundred it is 100 not 200 and all these things okay so this way we can use the match so one more thing so if you if you are from the c language or c plus plus language in the switch case even though if you don't have default stately it will be compiled and we can execute it so what happens in case if you don't have this let's say it will not accept actually we will get an error ensure all possible cases like we are minimizing the possible cases we are taking the number we are saying that 100 or 200 but the number can be anything that's all possible cases are being handled by adding a match or with a wildcat pattern a match arm with multiple or patterns as shown or multiple match arms what it is telling is you it can be possible from i32 minimum value to i32 maximum value this much it can suppose we know that rust can infer the data types it is inferring this one is like a i32 so i32 it is possible from the uh, minus values to positive values the minimum to maximum okay it is telling that this is not not the possible range you have to use you have to have a complete possible range that's why this particular default case is mandatory okay now let's execute it will be uh, saying like a hundred so the next case is <clears throat> so the next case is range so we are saying like a match the number if it is between 25 to 50 it will go to extend this arm like print and uh, 25 to 50 it is 51 to 100 it will be like 51 to 100 it will be saying like so again we have like a default case like who cares so we know that the number is 100 it should go to this particular arm so like this is like a specific range so in this case like or if the number is either 25 or 50 or 75 or it is in the second case either it is 100 or 200 so the match can be within the multiple values either 25 or 50 or 75 or 100 or 200 or who cares like the default case okay so it should go to this particular case right yeah 
let's execute and see 100 or 200 so the last case so like conditions as i told earlier match will also support the conditions so in this case we are saying like number x x if x less than 50 x if x equal to equal to 75 or else uh, who cares it could be 100 maybe so the number will be added in uh, the number will be referenced by the x and we are checking if x is less than 50 it is like a we are printing then less than 50 if x equal to equal to 75 and who cares so in this case both the cases are false it should go to the default case let's execute this yes so it went into the last case because who cares it could be 100 maybe okay so in this we uh, discussed about the if if else statements and also the match so in the next video i will discuss about the for loops while loops and how do we will give the infinite loops and also break and continue statements so please see the content in our channel if you like it please subscribe and share it with your friends whoever is required thank you for watching and i will upload this code in the github